Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time to upgrade our jet airliner. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, we are using this Tinkercad jet airliner. I highly recommend you duplicate it so you never wreck the original one. This way, you've always got one you can go back to and use for the different kinds of lessons. I've got mine way in the sky because I took a picture with this earlier. I'm gonna select it all and hit D and notice it drops right back down to where our cool notes were. If you're missing any of these lessons, I will have a link up above. You can get through these pretty quick and then you'll be at the spot where you can actually do what we're doing today. Our main goal right now is making the control surfaces move. Watch how easy this is. First, I'm gonna take the wing and I'm gonna hide it. Now I wanna make these little pieces, the aileron and the flap, so they can move. We are going to do that by hitting the work plane and putting it on the end. We are going to bring out a cylinder super quick, set it on that shape, and then we're going to make it size 3, which is just kind of small and easy to work with. I'm going to look at it from a corner, and this is important for this to be easy, and I'm going to stretch it out so it's easier to hold. Now all we're going to do is move this to the pivot point. So to make this easier to rotate, we need a rotation handle. We are going to build that with the tube. When you bring the tube out, set it down, change its parameter to 20, make the wall thickness 0.1 or 0.1, I'll type that. I'm going to make the sides 64 so it just looks more round. I'm going to pick a color gray so it kind of blends in with the sky. And then I want to look at it from this corner and I want to make it really skinny. So currently it was 10, I'm gonna make it one. Friends, the last part of this is to simply hold down shift, click on your orange cylinder, note it says two shapes, center it, make the orange the boss, and choose middle and middle. When you've got that done, you can delete that little peg. And if we do shift select, so I'm gonna grab the gray piece, shift select, grab the pink piece. If I group them, it'll take a moment for it to settle in. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. I like that multicolor, so I'm going to go back here and turn on my multicolor. And watch this. Our aileron, if I click on the pink piece, now has a rotation handle so that I can adjust my aileron to show how it would affect flight. That's how easy it is to add a pivot point and then add the rotation handle so you can click on the large piece and then up here find your rotation so that you can show how an aileron would really work on an aircraft. I want to make it so I can change all my flaps but watch how I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete the old ones by just clicking on them and hitting delete. And then friends, click on your first one and hit duplicate. Put your work plane on this flat edge. And when you hit the letter D, it drops to that spot. I'm gonna double click to edit. And I want the pink one to go back to that awesome yellow. You can pick your own colors, but friends, that's how easy it is to add these. I wanna put them on the other side as well. Watch this. Once again, control D. I'm going to put this one all the way out here on this edge. D is for drop. And then I want this to be on the outside edge, so I'm going to mirror it. Bam. And the same thing here. Control D, work plane, set it on the edge. D to drop, bust out the mirror. There's my flip. Put the work plane back down to the ground. And friends, our aircraft now has flaps that you can click the large flat piece and then find the rotation handle. Although sometimes you have to get your eyes at the right angle to see it. And now they rotate around that pivot point we created that easily. The next thing we need to do is add them back here. We're gonna do these manually. Once again, put the work plane on this edge, bring out your cylinder, scale it down to size three, I'm going to nudge it with the arrow keys out to that edge where I want it to rotate. And then I'm going to look at it from that angle so I can make it longer so I can see it. So now it sticks out. Bring out a tube. Drop it on that work plane. Once again, we're going to make it 20. 
we're gonna make it 0 0.1 I like round sides I've got a good angle to see this so I'm gonna make it the one that I used last time I'm gonna leave this orange just because it doesn't really matter but I am gonna hold down shift and click the peg because I've got that peg where I want I'm gonna look at it from a corner again so that peg is gonna rotate right out here on this edge and when we do a line make the peg the master center and center notice I missed there's my center button and now click on the ground delete the peg hold down shift and also click on our rotation handle and group them I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground test to make sure it rotates around that spot like we want let's fit view so we can get a little closer there's my rotation handle and check it out it rotates just like an elevator would once again we are gonna delete the other one click on our brand new one hit control D to duplicate put that work plane right on that edge and friends press the letter D to drop it hit mirror and flip it super quickly we'll add it to the rudder as well click up on your rudder I missed that time make sure you get the flat spot bring out your cylinder zoom back so we can see a little better squeeze it down until it's size 3 my little note is in the way so I'm gonna hide all the notes and then let's stretch that nice and tall if you miss of course hit control Z and then bring out a tube and let's change those measurements once again we're gonna make it 20 0 0.1 for the wall thickness 64 sides and then make sure you've got your little peg lined up right where you want hold down shift and click on your rotation handle let's do a line make the peg the master middle and middle I'm going to click somewhere else and delete the peg I'm gonna click on my tube and make it that one millimeter thick and then I'm gonna hold down shift and click on my rudder and group them if your multicolor goes away you can turn it back on by clicking this and this and then you can test your rudder to see if it works the way you would expect it to and it does friends just like that we added our controls I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground I just noticed that I'm one click away from perfect over here so I'm just gonna nudge that to where it should be and I'm gonna fix this one as well now friends what we've done is we've made it so that we can see how the control surfaces move let's talk real quickly about what they change when you change the elevators so if this rotates down that changes the airflow and it will make the airplane change its pitch so it's either aiming towards the ground or it's aiming up in the air so elevators control pitch I'm gonna get that back to straight and level this is what you'd want for straight and level flying in order to roll there is a longitudinal axis this goes along the blue fuselage if you click on an aileron and if you push this one down the air is gonna make it turn around its center and you'll start a roll the flaps are generally used for landing they help with stability and they slow the aircraft down for when you're making that landing and then the last one the rudder when you turn it it affects what we call yaw so if there was a line coming straight down through it rotates the aircraft around that middle I'm gonna put all of these back to straight so that way I've got them for any other projects that I choose to do all right friends let's go back to the top up here and rename this one this is gonna be a special one called moving jet airliner because this one has the moving parts now we've learned three different ways that it can be affected there is roll which is rolling along the blue edge or the longitudinal side there is yaw where it pivots around picture a spike going straight up and down through your aircraft and we learned pitch which is where the airplane is either aiming down or it's aiming up I'll put that back so it's not messed up but that way you can understand pitch just a little bit better as well all right friends so there you have it you have got a sweet controllable aircraft that should help you understand better 
pitch, roll, and yaw. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.